Hello and welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of young adult science fiction and fantasy and today we are celebrating the one year of the Pam Pam. Yay! The crowd goes wild. I cannot believe that I've been doing this for a year. It's kind of crazy to me. Um, I started this to make new friends and connect with other writers and to encourage myself. Um, and what I got, honestly, was more than I ever dreamed to actually make real connections with people. And hello, hello, people. Hello, chicken pie. Hello, Chloe. Hello, my friend Shadow. Ali, hello, hello. Oh, oh, Brenda, hello, hello. Hola, my friend. Hola, mi amiga. Yes, the Pam Fam. And you know, it's not just, it's not about me. It's about us because my first life, even my first live stream, I had a random viewer. <laughs> I was very surprised by that because I basically was scrolling on my phone going, who can I invite to come and look at this? Because I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, the first one, like the first five minutes of me just like looking down and trying to figure out if I'm on really on the camera or not. So, um, oh, hello, hello. Yay, Renner, 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 chicken dinner. And hello to Oliver in the background. I don't know if you noticed my thumbnails, but I included Oliver in the thumbnail this time. And um, I think my thumbnail game has improved. If you, if you look at the last 80 videos, I've done 80 videos. Um, a good maybe 20 of those were pre-live streaming, but that's pretty good. And uh, having to come up with a new uh, thumbnail every week or even sooner than that was challenging. I've had help from my friend um, who helps me with doing some of the graphic design, but most of them, 99% of them were me. So my graphic design experience has gone, feels like, I need, yeah, this way. <laughs> oh, hello, Kletcha, my friend, my friend. And yeah, Mr. Oliver has decided it's news time. It's news time. He being a good boy today, we have opened the windows. It's a very spring day again in Michigan. We're having lovely weather. So all the windows are open and he's been enjoying the birds. It's called cat, you know, I call outside cat TV. <laughs> So how's everyone else doing this week? I'm so happy to see you all here. And thank you for the, the, the emojis. They're wonderful. I appreciate it. Um, I'm hoping to continue doing this for as long as you guys show up. Uh, because I'm going to write uh, forever. <laughs> and it's always more fun with friends. So hopefully you guys will keep showing up. And maybe you guys can give me some feedback on things that you would like to see more of or less of like my singing <laughs> pauses for groan <laughs> insert groan here <laughs> i know some people were um didn't enjoy the shorter sprints so i actually made a conscious choice to start going back to the 25 minute sprints um i like doing the races i think everyone is kind of like digs that because even when you're kind of blocked you can kind of look up and have some fun Rooting for your um, your guy, whoever's racing in the race today. Uh, you, oh, you're getting a job at an amusement park? That's fantastic, Allie. I'm so happy for you. I know you were looking for a job, so congratulations. So happy, yeah. Um, so how's everyone doing this week? So And also, it, it, during the first sprint, I... Yeah, you had a right. But right now, maybe throw in, think, be thinking about... What you'd like to see more of. Um, I do want to do more sit down videos. The job situation at this time, the last two weeks has been insane. Uh, my coworker retired. Therefore, I got the, the, the joy of doing not only my job, but her job as well. They have got a replacement, so don't worry. But it's going to be an onboarding process for the new gal. So I'm going to be under the gun a bit at the day job. So, but I'm not going to let my writing suffer. I'm going to keep doing these live streams. I'm going to keep doing camp. I'm going to keep uh, challenging
challenging myself on a daily basis and maybe adjusting my goals as needed. So what is everyone working on this lovely, lovely Saturday afternoon? Yes, there's a lot. There's a lot to learn and do and day jobs are important because that lets bring the money in until the writing does. If, <laughs> yep, been hanging in there. Oh, the mental blah. Haven't worked on my work in progress in like a month, hoping to get back to it. We came to the right place, chicken pie, because this is the place to get that mental blah turned into a mental ah. <laughs> At least I will sing you songs to celebrate your wonderfulness. And that alone should maybe, I hope, brighten your day. <laughs> Look at my cat. Honestly, how could you ever be? No, I'm just kidding. Y'all, we're here for you if you need support. And I oh, I love you all. And I'm glad that you know that I'm not alone. And then together we can band together and get this writing time in. Even with jobs. Even with blah. Because this is where we bring the ah. Well, hello, Blue. How do you do? It's always nice to see you. I'm on fire today. I did a whole pre, I do a pregame. You guys, I really should do a video of that. My pregame, I have to dance around the room for five minutes and, and play 80s or other rock and sing along loudly to get the energy high and to find my inner mojo. I've had, actually, I have a lot of spring going on, like spring energy. It's like insane. Like, uh, this is my time of year. I mean, I want to empty closets and reorganize stuff and I'm going just eager to dig in. So perhaps we can all dig each other's energy and bring each other up a notch and, and make some magic because that's what the live stream's all about. It's the unicorn magic. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you what you all are drinking today and what you're working on. Like, I'm going to, again, work on my Space Cadet book. <laughs> it is Rebel, and it's for the Star Defender series. And this is my new mug. It's the Dollar Tree, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm, like, geeking out. Look how cute it is. It's paisley. It's so spring. I'm so excited. And today I'm changing up my tea. I got some, um, this is jasmine green. So it gives me just a, a scooch, it's just a scooch of, of caffeine, but not enough to like slam me up and then have me crash. Oh no, can be hard to trawl of that pit. You know what? I understand that fear and I'm trying to think of a way to make you feel better about that. But I guess there's always going to be a slight fear. But you know what? You don't know until you try. And the only way you can improve is to put it out there and have people sample it. Um, do you think the Beatles went out there the first time on the stage and they suddenly, you know, were playing their biggest, you know, oh, yeah, I you know, no, no, they were, they were high school kids. They got booed off stage. They were not universally loved. They learned their craft as they were, as they were entertaining people. So don't let fear hold you back. Success is on the other side of fear. And I, I know this because I have had to overcome that very same fear and doubt. And even if no one likes it, you have been successful because you tried. And hopefully, whatever feedback you get is constructive. So they, they're not going to say, geez, I don't like it. They're going to say, perhaps you can use more description. So be careful who you share it with when you're a new writer, because that can slam you down pretty hard if it's somebody you respect. So find somebody who gives you balanced feedback um, and says this need work, but then there's always something to like in everyone's work. So do not fear. I guarantee you that there is something to like in your work. And 
it, the only thing that you're going to need to add is is a little is a help keep and helping of courage and to get that out there and to get some critique if you're really fearful of the quality of it or if you've already know that in the past you published things or whatnot i don't know what part of the journey you're on i don't know I, this really speaks to me i guess I'm, I'm getting a little emotional because i felt the very same way it kept me from publishing or doing anything for 10 years honestly i wanted to publish for 10 years and i kept honing and going to critique groups and doing these different things. And finally, I'm just like, you know, if it's not ready now, it's not ready. But anyways, I, I just want to give you as much encouragement as I can. We're going to, sh we're going to shake off that mental anguish. And, and I guarantee you that there's things to like in your writing and you just got to get it out. You got to get it out. You got to do it. That's the only way to overcome that feeling is to just do it. When you're in the throes of creative uh, process, you're not thinking, you're just enjoying it yourself. So, you know, write for yourself too, right? Just for the first audience. So if you're liking it, I can, there's somebody like you out there. There's somebody that would be happy to read your stuff and really like it. And trust me, I've read some books that were very questionable. I'm not gonna mention any names. But I look over the I look over my shoulder as if somebody's here. But yeah, there's some books that probably needed more work before they were published. I'm gonna say, but they are extraordinarily popular. So you don't know until you try. Okay, so what we got out here? We got out here. Uh, I'm sorry, I went off on a tangent, but I was very passionate about that feeling, and I have had it. Hydrating with water. That's wonderful. I'm working on the nano, the rom um, that is the historical fantasy romance. So, yeah. I posted my first chunk of. Oh, wonderful. Chicken pie. I'm so proud of you. I feel funny saying chicken pie whenever I'm having a serious discussion because it's such a fun name. But, friend, chicken pie. I support you. And I think you did. Right now, you are the super successful person because putting it out there is game on. You are, you know how many people never A, write, B, never A, get the courage to share it. You've done wonderful. Yeah, that is true. There's some people who are very negative. But like I said, if those people cannot give you any positive, then they're not the right critique group and they're not the right people to read your stuff. It's not a fault in you. It's a fault in them. If they cannot see anything positive in your writing. So hashtag fact. <laughs> oh, but I believe it's amazing. Oh, I understand not thinking anyone will like it is that crit partner. Oh, CC. Yeah. 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 You guys are my favorite twins ever. And I love that you have each other to give yourself positive reinforcements and to have each other's back and to do some competition on our little stream and to see who can write the words of glory. I hope everyone feels encouraged. I hope everyone feels mentally ready because I am. We've been doing this for a little bit. It is time to dig in. And if you're watching this later, yeah, this is what you're going to get if you subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out. Um, that's one of the, my goals is to eventually grow this channel and maybe get more people in the Pam fam. So um, if you do enjoy these kind of things, please feel free to, to follow and all that junk. All right. I am going to share my screen. I know how to do this because I've done it like 80 times. How come I struggle every time? I'm going to share my screen. Bam. Look at that. Bam. And we're going to rock the dinosaur. Boom, boom, shaka laka laka boom. 
Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Shakalaka, laka, boom, boom, boom. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Oh, gosh. Y'all ready for this? Uh, Define book friends. And it's terrifying. Aw. We're your friends. Don't worry. Don't worry, chicken pie. We're your friends. Come back. You're part of the Pam fam for sure. All right. We're picking our cute little dinosaurs. I'm going to go with number one. He looks eager. He looks like a little puppy. So I'm going to go with number one. Number one. 25 minutes on the clock. Rock and roll. Never stops. I am going to get it. Oh, we got Coca-Cola. Looks like we had drinking nothing. Wow, you are a brave soul. Make sure you hydrate, though. Next break, got to get some hydration. Uh, a cup of spring tea. I love a cup of tea. Gotta have a cup of tea. That's what I'm drinking. Cheers to you. Click the teacups. You guys, you're the best partners ever. I love it. All right. No more emotional talk. Now it's time to roll up those sleeves and make the magic happen. On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> They're so cute.
come now. Come on. Number five. Number five is the winner. I do think we had some picks on number five. Oh, you did it. Yeah. It looks like Shadow picked number five and Allie picked number five. Little Mr. Pink Dinosaur. He looks like very excited to have won, too. The other dinosaurs are just gone extinct, I guess. <laughs> Let me see. Who? Hi, how are we doing here? How are we doing? All right. So five, six, and one. I came in third. If you had six, you came in second, and then you can look at, I don't know why they have bones on the outside. Like, this was the time they were supposed to be alive. <laughs> so I don't know if that's, like, their way of saying these are dinosaurs. <laughs> um, but yay for everyone who won. Now, now the really tricky part comes. What did you guys do during, what did you, how did you use this one life of yours, this one 25 minute sprint? I'm gonna give myself a unicorn horn preemptively because I did 370 words. What, what, what? Yeah, so I did all right. How about you? How did you do? I want to see your numbers. Cha, 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 cha. I want to see your numbers. Cha, 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 cha. Congratulations to the dinosaur crew who have won. Now it's time to get your unicorn on, which is another extinct beast. If you believe they ever existed, they might still exist on other planets. I might have to write space unicorns into my next book. I don't know. I think it might be a solid plan. I don't think space unicorns have been done. Uh, research with my writing time, but I did manage. Okay, you know what though? That's solid. That's solid use of time. Unicorn horn of success to Miss Brenda. Yay! Yay! Well done, Miss Shadow. Plus the twi the plot twist is worth its weight in gold. That is worth the whole sprint because once you find that right twist. You're golden. You're golden. Now you have a point of where you're going. So everything else will fall into place so much easier. So yay, Miss Shadow, you are Miss Shadow. Go, Miss Shadow, you are Miss Shadow. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Ooh, Rita, lovely Rita. Mita made. Look at that, 341. You and I were pacing each other. It looks like you're my writing buddy because I got 370. So yeah, we're like the 300 twins. Uh, I'm so proud of you. You did a wonderful job. Wonderful job. Oh, and you did some groceries. That is exciting. Well, you know, that happens. I did my grocery like order like we do in the U.S. here. There's a few grocery stores, which is really, really nice for writing. And this is a hack you can use if you're in the U.S. Most grocery stores now have a pickup or delivery. And if you're willing to pay a little bit um, for the delivery, they will bring it right to your door. So if you have the money, but not the time, you know, but me, I just, get, I get it picked up because um, then you can do that for free. And so I go out and it takes me 10 minutes instead of like an hour and a half to get the groceries all set. So, and during nano, that is a godsend, especially when I'm busy at work too. So it's anything I can do to cut off the corners so I have more time to write. I try to pre-write things as well, like our pre-cook, pre-write. I wish I could pre-write. Um, I, I, tr I try to pre-cook things or do meals that will last multiple days so that my cooking time, which is another big suck of time, will be abbreviated. So, oh, hello, Eva. Eva, lovely Eva has joined us, has joined the chat. Lovely Eva. Welcome, Eva. Good to see you again. Uh, yeah, I understand that. It depends on where you live. Like, um, I guess I could survive if I didn't have a car. There are places I could buy food. It wouldn't be great food. <laughs> like, there's no real grocery stores within walking distance of where I'm at. So it would be delivery or pickup for sure. For sure. Okay, I am so happy that first sprint was actually 
very productive and I'm proud of all of you. Well done, people. How did you do, chicken pie? Throw, it, throw your numbers up there. We want to encourage you. Even if you just thought about your story, that's a positive. Um, welcome to everyone who joined us. And thank you for being here to celebrate the one year with the Pam Fam. Hoping to make it another year if you guys are into it. <laughs> um, and we can continue doing this fun, fun. Uh, oh, okay. I hope we can do pickup delivery for groceries forevermore. I save so much time and I'd say even money. You know what? That's actually very, very true for me too. Cause when I go to the store, I find that I pick up a bunch of things that I hadn't planned on that are just more ancillary that I, that really are don't fit. It just looks good. And I do that less whenever I'm kind of contemplating it on the website. So yeah, I'm with you, Eva. Uh, I was doing the pickup before, um, before the pandemic, but it has uh, increased my desire to get everything delivered to my house or to pick it up. <laughs> I still like going into shops sometimes. Um, B and I have been, I got my shot and all that good stuff. Um, I do like getting out a little bit because it's just fun to get out of the house or do fun shopping. But time is, is, is word count and word count is time. And you got to do the time if you want to write the book. Do the time, you get a book. Do the time, you get a book. Time, book, time, book. Shh, Winter Twin Powers activate. Two days. Uh, haven't ventured out just yet. Soon. Yeah, I'm wonderful, Ava. I'm so happy. So happy. Time is word count. Work out is time. I'm glad you got poked, poke, poke a joke, poke joke. So, all right. So we've been talking a lot about challenges. I think everyone's been experiencing them with the world as well as their writing and Camp Nano and jobs and different things. So what's, here's a, here's a thought. What one thing that have you overcome in your life? When, what big challenge have you overcome that you're very proud of? Oh, because, I mean, I could say I was a single mom of two daughters and I raised them to uh, where they can kind of take care of themselves now. So I feel very proud of that. And that was a very challenging of a very rewarding job. But uh, what about you? Have you done anything in your life that you feel very proud of that was very challenging? Because I'm going to say... If you ever get into the weeds and you lose faith in yourself or your writing, you can say, I've, I have survived hundreds of nights of sick kids and gotten up in the middle of the night and done whatever I had to to take them to the doctor, make sure they got their food and got to school. If I have that kind of focus for them, I can certainly have that kind of focus for myself. So it's a way of drawing on your previous strength to strengthen what you have now, like to strengthen your passion and to do something nice for yourself. Um, the story is very long. <laughs> yeah, time is word count. If you know you put in the time, you got to do the got to do the words though. You got to fingers fly on the keyboards. These look, it matches my horn. <laughs> Oh, I find things so amusing, people. <laughs> so be thinking, what challenges have you overcome? Wow, that's amazing. Kudos, kudos for that. And um, wow, move country to country. That was super challenging, Ellie. You should be very proud of yourself. And now... Writing should be a piece of cake. <laughs> you've, if you've overcome all that, then look at you. Look at you. Look, you should be proud of how much you've accomplished. Um, I know all of you, even if it's on a smaller scale, such as I passed this really hard class or I had a family member who had an issue that I helped to deal with or I had a pet pass away or anything sad or, or, or challenging, um, I'm sure you've had times in your life when you were challenged and you've, you've done it and you've come out on the other side because you're here today and that says something. 
you had to have some challenges on making time to write. So there we go. You've already overcome the first challenge. You sit down in front of the computer. That's challenge number two. Now we're going to go for challenge number three of actually getting those word counts in. Come on. You've already, you're already like 95% there. You're 95% there, people. Yeah. Wow. That's very impressive. Good job. You guys. Amazing. 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 All right. I don't know. You want to do some more cute little dinosaurs? I think so. All right. Oh, there the numbers are in weird order. All right, we're going to do it weird. This is a this is a weird sprint. <laughs> For the weird people out there, for me. This is a strange one. I said shuffle the characters and this is what it did. So, I don't know what the rhyme or reason was for that. But now we have numbers randomly. So carefully pick your dinosaurs and think about what you're going to be writing next. And remember, if you've overcome other challenges in your life, you've already overcome getting here. You've already come, overcome turning on a motivational YouTube channel. You're here with the Pam fam to give you support. You can do it. I'm going to go with number three. Number three. It's a traditional green dinosaur. Pick your dinos. Rock the dinosaur. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Boom, boom. Shaka, laka, laka, boom. Boom, boom. We're going to boom out some word count. I might have to take off my sweater here in a minute, guys, because it was chilly, but now it's getting really warm. So don't mind me for stripping. I have shirt underneath. <laughs> I might not. I might. You never know. All right. Everyone's picked their dinos that wants to pick because, you know, you don't have to, but it's kind of fun. It's Britain time. Get in your mind what you want to write next. And then I want for the next 25 minutes, you've already had your warm up. And now's the time to bring the noise, people. We're going to bring the noise. This is it. We're going to bring it on your marks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's my, my cursor. I'm going to curse my cursor. Get set. Go!
Pinky wins again. Might have to mix this up a little more. I think there's something going on. Perhaps someone has uh, dosed the dino, dino feed. He seems to be very spry for a pink guy. How did everyone do? How are you doing out there, people? Let me see some liveliness. I want to see your numbers. Show me your numbers. I got 400. Yay! Go, Pam. Go, Pam. I'm giving myself a little go, Pam. So 400 is a really good sprint for me. I'm hoping to eventually train to get the 500, but that was solid, and it was good story motion. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, hello, Kate. Welcome. I'm so glad you joined us. Happy, uh... Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday sprints. Yeah, you guys are dosing the dinosaur feed, I think. What's even up, Chloe? You, yeah, I seen you in the stables beforehand, before the race. I know what you're up to. I wrote 2.30. Oh, that's fine. Uh, love these dramatic chapters. Yes, they kind of pull you through, don't they? They're just tasty. There's like uh, the candy the candy bar scenes, right? Right? The ones that we plan in our heads for like months in advance that are finally there. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Kate. I'm so glad that you're doing it and you're hitting it. Woo! Go shadow. Go, go, go shadow. Oh, go, go shadow. Go, go, go shadow. You rock and rule all the day long. My goodness, you people, you are so impressive. And thank you for sticking around and thinking through your story. Even if you didn't get many words that time, I still believe that you can do it. We still have another sprint to go. And I have faith in you. We can do it together as the Pam Pam. Isn't that what this is all about? Yeah. So this next year, I am hoping to do more sit down videos, depending on after I get through my work uh, issue. And I just got to figure out how to edit. If I can figure out how to do a thumbnail, I can figure out how to edit video, but it might be rough. I'm just going to tell you. It might be rough. <laughs> it's not one of my main talents, but I just wanted to do more to support y'all and see if there's something I can impart. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge after being seriously writing since 2008 and writing a long time before that, but I have been writing for a publication or in lieu in uh, pursuit of uh, actual making money on it and in publication since 2008. So I've accumulated a lot of knowledge and I mean, not to brag, I worked hard um, for it. I've taken classes, I've gone online and I feel like if I can motivate you, if I can inform you uh, and I can do it in a fun manner, why not? You know, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know, man. Chloe's all like out in herself. So I guess we're going to do some drug testing on these dinosaurs. Yeah, he looks like he's hopped up. He does. He He's pretty, he's pretty, uh, watch. See, he's still jumping up and down. So you definitely gave him something, Chloe. I know you did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to really mix it up. Let's see if I can do this. Um... Go, go, Shadow. I, I like your song, Shadow Heart. Let's see if I can reset it so that clear. Set. All right, we got some new dinos in the house. So, how are you guys doing out there? Are you hitting your goals? How is your month going? How are you actually doing the camp? Uh, anyone new who just popped in? Are you viewing Camp Nano? Or are you just working on your not just, are you just, are you working on a project? Are you doing editing? Uh, are you doing research? That's vital to this process is, is getting the plotting down. I want to know, tell me what you're doing. I'd love to know. 
Are you giving yourself little treats along the way? And it doesn't necessarily have to be something you bought. Are you giving yourself little moments? Say, I'm good. At, I'm bad about not rewarding myself when I do. Uh, I'm always like, wow, you could have done more. <laughs> but that's not a positive way of reacting. So instead, are you giving yourself when you do say, you know what? I sit down and wrote. I did the Pam Fam today. I'm going to allow myself some downtime or I'm going to allow myself to read a book and get some, some great uh, mental fodder to, to noodle around. I've noticed that when I go and take a walk, my brain comes online, you know, and even if I don't think about the story at all later on, I found that I'm more motivated and my imagination has kind of kicked into high gear. Another tip that I have been using, and it actually works, and I don't remember where I got this one from, but it was to think about, like, if you have a story plot knot, as I like to call them, to kind of think about it a little bit before you go to bed, and then ask your, actually physically, you know, in your head, go, subconscious mind, do you have an answer for me? I'd like to hear it in the morning. And you know what? You'll be super surprised that the next day that your brain goes, OK, that was a command and your subconscious mind will actually start working on a solution for you. So fun facts. All right. What we got here, Kate? You're working on chapter 44 of what grows today. Just finished it. Actually, I'm trying to finish the section by camp's end so that we're S through 47 or so. All right. So we're here to support you. Wonderfully done. I am so proud of you. Unicorn horn of success for you, my friend. Some days are better than others. I'm trying to focus on the good ones. And give yourself huge credit for doing it at all and doing it and, and tracking your progress. And then you can see on the days, I think what um, I actually keep a little journal of my writing too. Like today was a good writing day or worked long hours today. Like I put a little note next to it in my spreadsheet just so that I start realizing, oh, you know, on the on the busy work day, sometimes I'm actually more productive or when I have a lot else going on or sometimes I'm not. Um, sometimes Saturday is better than Sundays. Afternoons better than morning. So get that feedback for yourself is really vital. So look at it as you're doing a science experiment. Um, on, on, on hacking your productivity. I've got about one month. Or, oh, I'm focusing on work. So I've decided not to do camp this time, but I don't have enough time available to do it yet. Okay. I understand, but I appreciate you still getting some creative work in. Don't worry. Camp in July it will be funner. That's not a word. It's funner or word? more fun. It's more fun. It's not funner. It will be off the hook. No one even knows what that means anymore. It will be fantastic. It will be awesome. It will be spectacular. It will be a celebration of more writing abandoned. Not abandoned, but abandoned. <laughs> I hope I'm not abandoning my writing. <sighs> I'm hoping to get back in a routine of writing a little bit every day even if it's only a page a day in the summer and get back to reading and doing reading comprehension. Yeah. Yeah. I miss, I miss reading for fun. I need to get some time to do that. Yeah. In the midst of all the school stuff, I am proud of you. When I was in school, I did not do much except for like, it was like a um, release from the stress. Cause I was very really like a type a couldn't tell. Right. But I was a really type A student, so I really, really wanted to do well. So I was very focused and very stressed out. And to kind of help myself relax, I would just get these crazy ideas or draw a picture or um, more poetry then because I didn't have time to um, write a full novel, nor did I think I could at that point in my life. So Shadowheart, you are leaps and bounds ahead of me. July camp usually come. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is a nice warm up to get us back into the writing game. And then July, we'll, we'll hit it. We'll get the editing done maybe through August and September. And then it's ramp up to the real thing, to the real deal. Because fall is writing time and then we'll be doing nano. So stick around. I'm going to be hosting all of these crazy, funky, 
funky junky write-ins and writing streams and who knows i might even do like a 24-hour thon or who so who knows who knows i'm a little crazy sometimes Ah, I'm so glad that I provide that for you, Kate, uh, Shadow, my friend, my my sweet, sweet baby. Okay. Well, I am so happy for all of you to be here today. And I think this next one will kick us right till five o'clock if we do if we do another sprint. So I'm on board if you are. One more time into the fray. My goal for this live stream was a thousand words, and I'm at 766. So I think I'm going to hit it and I want you guys to hit your goals too. So join me in one last come to church, come to writing church. We shall sit in our pews and we shall, we shall write until the power comes down and our creativity flows. And the unicorn horns never lie. We will get it done. All right. We're going to do a mixed up, Dinosaur race. Mixed up dinosaur race. What? What? Pick your dinosaurs. They have both been, they've been shaken and stirred, my friends. Like a martini. I want you to pick your favorites. I want to get something, I want to get the goofy one that's pink. I want to go for number six. Because why not? Because he he's like the beginnings of what was an alligator. Who's to say that Dinosaurs weren't pink. I don't know. They could have been pink. And it sort of matches my peachy color today, so why not? Oh, I, uh, yay, I go. I understand. You got to go. Have a wonderful day, Miss Brenda. Thank you for always coming. You're such a gem, and I appreciate you. All right, last time into the fray. Let's do it. Focus, power. All your power for 25 minutes. On your mark. Get set. Go.
That's good. Let's see. Okay, looks like number five won, Mr. Goofy. Number five, number five is the winner. Well, hello, Allie Cat. I'm so happy to have you. So thank you for joining us here at the end of all things. Now, that's a line from Lord of the Rings. I can't help myself. I got 450. Boom. Boom. That was like my best print in a very long time. And I even had a few seconds at the end to kind of pet Padunia. And she made a present, she made a quick uh, cameo <laughs> to the live stream. And she's been on in a while. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think Chloe is dosing them. Um, the cat, uh, perhaps we all need dosing. Caffeine and sugar for all. Huzzah! I hope you all did your word counts. Come on, people, show me your numbers. I did 450. I'm giving my, I'm, you know what? It's time for the super corn. Super corn. Yeah. Super corn. I did 1100 in the live stream. So what? What, Kate? Look at you go like your bad self. I am super impressed with you. And you know what? That emotional scene will pull you right through. I'm so happy and proud. Yay, Kate. Go, Kate. Go, Kate. Go, 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 Kate. Kate, Kate. Kate, Kate. Go, 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 Kate. Yeah, isn't Petunia the best? She's so fluff. She's so, she's my beauty queen. I share pictures of her on my Instagram sometimes because she's so, just so pretty. She's just a pretty girl. But not that Oliver is not handsome. I mean, check him out. Like, he's resplendent. He has a little chin. Aww. Also... He was much feistier this morning. The open windows have drained him of all energy because he's trying to get the birds and the bees and everything outside right now. So he's very excited. So he he uh, spent his all his energy getting those birdies. I am so happy for all of you. Oh, okay, decided to do a bit of character board. Okay, character boards. I'm going to hopefully start after I finish this novel as I'm on the last few chapters. Woo! shadow all right doing that with school is super impressive and i give you double kudos double double high five one two three bam bam, bam. high fives all around do people still high five i high five the highest of fives to you my friend the highest of fives well, I am super excited. This was a very productive stream. And you know what? If I didn't meet with y'all, I would have probably said, eh, I'm not doing well. I'm kind of falling behind my word count. Maybe I should just do nano next time. Maybe this book's no good. But you know what? I had to put all that away. I had to rethink and get in my positive mind frame and realize that's just the inner critic trying to hold me down. And here I am. I have got over a thousand words. Hopefully you have done more wonderful work uh, on your homework or reading or creative projects or your nano projects. I will be back next Saturday at 3 p.m. for more shenanigans.
dare I say, shenanigans. I'm not sure of the theme yet, but it probably has something to do with something fun and rock and roll. So be here at three. I'm going to try to do a couple extra sprints even um, before then, uh, maybe not before then, but soon, as soon as my work slows down, I will be doing extra ones. I might just throw one in random. So make sure you're subscribed so you get noticed when those come out. Thank you all for showing up this beautiful Saturday. Looks like Oliver's waking up, so I better <laughs> tie it up. I love you all. Have a wonderful week. I hope your writing goes extremely well. And if you want, follow me on other socials. I will be sharing tips and tricks and little pieces of kitty cat lore and, and other things. <laughs> all right. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thanks for coming. See you next time.